Hey guys, welcome back. So if you follow me on Instagram, you will know that I put out a top tip Thursday, every Thursday, and it's basically a top tip that I use in either my business or design-wise, depending on what people wanna see. So it may be a tip in Photoshop, Illustrator, or it might be a tip for your business that you can use on social media. So this top tip is gonna be a design tip, and it's something that I learned a year ago that I didn't know you could do in Adobe Illustrator. I know you could do it in InDesign as there was a button for it, but Illustrator, it's not as straightforward and there is a way around it, so I'm gonna show you how. So some of you may know this already, but it is basically creating a line full of dots. Instead of getting the circle and placing loads of dots next to each other, you can actually do this in Illustrator by using this tip and creating a line full of dots. Okay, so first of all, you're gonna wanna find your line segment tool, and we're just gonna create a really nice straight line. Make sure you have a black outline on or whatever color you want. And then I'm gonna hold down shift and make sure it creates that nice line for us. Then what you wanna do is select round cap over here. Make sure that is selected as that is gonna create the circles for us. And then what you wanna do is keep the first dash on zero and then go across to the second one and input around 10. And you will see that this has now created some lovely lined dots and you can increase the stroke. And obviously as you increase the strokes, the dots will get closer together. So all you can do is just up this and this will now create a nice line for us. And you can do exactly the same with a box. It will create that nice box. And if you want the dots on the edges over here, you just select this one here. So it fits really nicely and you can create all sorts of things with these dots. I think knowing tips like this can really speed up your process and I always find little tips can help me along the way and I literally didn't know about this until around a year ago. So lucky I found out about it and I thought I would share it with you all. So let me know if you knew about this tip, if you've been using this or if you've actually been drawing circles like I used to do. This used to take so much time and you don't know whether the circles are gonna be the right length of distance. So having this tool is really handy. I don't know why they don't just create this as a selection in Illustrator. I know they do it in InDesign, but it's not an option and you have to do it a funny way. So hope this helped. Let me know if you've used it before or if you're gonna start using it.